Okay, I am so sorry. I cannot figure out who sent me this. I, I like to give shout outs when people send me specific things. Uh, I don't think I found this on my own. I'm pretty sure someone, so if you sent this to me, and it might be multiple people, I don't know. You can leave a comment below, um, but I, I really do appreciate uh, you, you, you showing me this. I want some rest. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in this completely blind, all right? I only read the first sentence of this. I read the Victor Wambayama should have won Defensive Player of the Year, too. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to take a look. Gosh, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not sick, but uh, I feel like I'm getting there, maybe. Um, so we're going to take a look at what Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce had to say about Victor Wambayama. We already know all season long they've been so awesome when it comes to San Antonio Spurs. Honestly, there's not many talking heads, if any, actually, maybe none. Yeah, maybe none, other than like McCants, but does he talk, does he count as like a talking head? I don't know. Um, there hasn't really been any talking heads that said anything negatively towards the San Antonio Spurs, uh, specifically Victor Wambayama. I guess he's just so good <laughs> till it's kind of hard to diss him i don't know it's it's weird it's weird you would think someone would want to be the odd man out the weird the weird one you know the one that stands out to say that he's actually trash and you guys are just but no there's none of that none of that um all right so let's take a look at what they have to say about victor wimbanyama san antonio san antonio <laughs> that boy should have won a uh, defensive player of the year so i'm just saying that. he was hey listen he, he, i said that lord Remember listen i said that the before league the do too much oh he was a rook man fuck that this is cathartic this is so cathartic right now if you prove that, that you can do the job then you you get the job right yeah. now he should have did the and we ain't seen that type of a uh, 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 effect on the defensive end since who, P? Who's affected? Man, David Robinson, when you can, I mean, uh, 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 the Gambe? Man, who got, Dream? Who got the rim like that, bro? Well, you coming there and. You just uh, gonna turn around. Man, eight, eight, uh, nine, nine and a half of them, he getting them. He getting a tip of them, he getting yeah. he dunked on, you feel me? I think two niggas caught him this year on some whatever. Actually, Joel is another level, but man, with me, man. Probably like the kid. Yeah, back, motherfuckers the in there pump faking, putting up, man. It's so unfair, too, because it, it, the whole argument was, oh, the San Antonio Spurs haven't won anything. Like, oh, oh, they don't have enough wins. Wimby needs more wins to win Defensive Player of the Year, which is absolutely asinine. Like, especially when you look at the statistics and you see that when he's on the court, the Spurs are a top five team. Like, you have to take that into account. But then when you get to the point where you're saying, well, also, not only does he have to be a great defensive player, but he also has to win more games. It's like, well, dang, now he has to be an MVP candidate too? Because that's what it would take for the Spurs, for this Spurs team to have won. It just means that he couldn't do anything. There was nothing he could have done, nothing in his power to win Defensive Player of the Year as a rookie. There is absolutely nothing. The only way he would have been able to do it, maybe, is if the Spurs were already a good team, got a bunch of injuries, like what happened in the 90s, and then we we got him out of uh, the, you know, the first round like we did, I mean, the first round, first overall pick like we did with Tim Duncan. Like, that's the only way that he could have possibly, potentially won Defense Player of the Year. This should have been an outlier. This should have been the one person that did it. This should have been the first person to ever do it. And now I feel like we'll never get that because how many guys are gonna come in the league this good defensively and this is what it would take to even be considered? It's It, it makes me angry. This is cathartic though. Green came in, I thought it was sweet, nah. Y'all tripping, y'all right. all right? He sure did. Damn, bro, he, weren't, he earned that. No disrespect to any other person in the league. This is my opinion. I thought he did enough and he showed enough consistently to win that award. Regardless Easily. of your fucking status or where you at and in your in what year you win. Yeah. Right. You Easily. if you getting it and, and, and you a rookie, then you're not getting trying it. to give yeah. him too much to Nah, early. that's what it is, though. That's he, so dumb. He built that. Man, if I was with me, I'd What are you about to say? Come back and block five shots next year, nigga. Y'all got me fucked up. Change this award to the Wimby Award. Ooh. Well, I like that. Change this award to the Wimby Award. That's funny. No, that's that's true, though. It's like they didn't want to give him too much too early. It's so ridiculous. So silly. But KG brought that up, too. It's like he did earn this, okay? It's, it's not like, I don't know. It's not like he just, you know, it's really close. Like, oh, who do we give it to? I'll oh, just give it to the one with the most wins. It wasn't close at all. 
statistically it's not close at all and the only thing that people bring up against Wimby is uh defensive rating which I mean that depends on your team like it's not fair <laughs> Is it wasn't fair at all individually? He beat out Gobier easily. I, I would I would say he was a mile from Rudy Gobier as far as winning that award. I don't I don't even think it was close. Uh, yeah, but not giving him too much too early is such a silly argument. I hate that that's actually a thing. And Paul Pierce is exactly right. That's what it is. But yeah, he did earn it. He he earned it with all his hard work. Uh, he earned it before he even got to the NBA. He 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 started working towards. Uh, that accolade that he definitely deserves. Uh, I, I, this just makes me a little discouraged, man, because there's, uh, we already looked at uh, the, the the all of the players saying in the NBA currently saying that Wimby deserves the award. Okay, I mean they they did a poll. Everyone said that he's the best defensive player this year. All right, easily. Um, so everyone said that, and then you have so many talking heads say, also saying, yeah, I think Wimby should win it. Um, you have former players saying, yes, I think Wimby should win it. And then weirdly enough, he still doesn't win it. That's just, that just makes me discouraged for the future. And it's going to be one of those things, man, where, and this happens all the time where a guy will deserve it, but they don't want to give him too much because Wimby's probably for every year that he's in the NBA, he's probably going to earn that award. I mean, maybe the last few years of his career, maybe not, but like, if this is him at his worst, it only goes up from here. No one can block shots the way that Wimby blocks shots. No one can get get deflections the way that Wimby gets deflections. Uh, no one can just stop teams from attempting to make a shot at all uh, like Wimby can. So it, it's it, it makes me it makes me a little upset. Uh, but dude, I am really looking forward to this upcoming season. Uh, I think that a lot of I know that this is a little off topic a little in a little bit, uh, but I think that a lot of people need to start getting in their minds. I know that it's really important for us to get shooters. OK, I, I saw people uh, say that under one of my videos. They're like, we need shooters, clan. I don't know why you're so focused on uh, defensive wings. What we need right now, first step, in my opinion, is defensive wing. I, 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 I know that we need shooters. I know that we need scorers. Obviously, everyone needs scorers. They're hard to come by. But what's even harder to come by it are lockdown defenders. And when I look at someone like Ron Holland, I think that he's phenomenal defensively. And I think there's a lot of offensive tools there that he could potentially be a really good scorer. But you you don't, he doesn't have to be a Kyrie Irving, okay? He, he doesn't. Um, and, and not every player that you get needs to needs to be that. But think about the all the easy. I think the Spurs need to focus in on the defensive end, focus in on their strengths. And right now you have Wimby. You're still trying to figure out things offensively of what that can look like. Um, and you're going to need a point guard, obviously. But I think right now, focusing in on that defensive angle, get as many easy shots as you possibly can because that's a lot of easy scoring. Ron, Ron Holland is one guy I'm looking at right now. And in transition, he's quick as I don't know what. Um, really great defender. If you have somebody like Wimby getting deflections, forcing turnovers, uh, just being in a position where he's helping his other teammates get steals, I, those are a lot of easy points right then and there. A lot of easy points. And I think the Spurs going to need that, especially for a younger team. Um, you know, you want them, you want them to play pretty quick. You want them to get in transition and, and get as easy as easy shots as you want. And you know, when you have to sh slow things down and you have to do that pick or you know, the pick and rolls, the half court sets, I get it. It's important. But man, you really want to uh highlight uh, what you do well. And I think what we can really build on is that defensive angle of how great Wimby is and how versatile Sohan is and Devin Fassell being a pretty good off ball uh, defender. So I, I don't know. He plays the lanes really well, but that, those, those are my thoughts on that. Uh, anyways, if you guys want to support the channel, clan, the merch fan.com link in the description or become a YouTube member. I'll get with you guys later till next time. Bye. 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 Bye.